I'm going to start with congratulations on the movie. You guys did such a great job. I love this film and I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Thank you. All right, take care. <laughs> right. Um, but one of the things that I love about Tick, Tick, Boom is that it reminds you how precious life is and how you should take every moment um, and make the best of it. Can you sort of talk about did being part of this production and telling this story maybe impact your real life in terms of the, the way you want to live? I would say for me, absolutely. You know, I'm a father of three. I have seven month old twins. And I got to shoot this at a time uh, before, just a couple months before they were born last fall. And so the theme of every moment being precious and being aware of how you spend your time that we saw Jonathan Larson live through and, and wrestle with is something that hits me so deeply. It makes me wanna trim the fat off everything that's not necessary, everything that I'm sweating that doesn't make any sense um, to get my ego out of the way and just do the things that are important. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it definitely hit me like that. You want to add anything? Um, I mean, yeah, I think that that's a, a through line in Jonathan Larson's work um, and something that turned a fan out of me almost instantly. You know, I remember the first time I did Rent and, and singing No Day But Today mm -hmm. and how that really embedded itself onto my heart and soul and, and made me really look at my life and, and reassess, you know, am I doing what I should be doing with the time that I have? And I feel like it's really important to ask yourself that continuously throughout the years. It doesn't matter the time because it's really important to constantly prioritize and priorities shift, you know, so you have to stay on track and stay on top of yourself with it. Um, if you guys could actually show Jonathan a scene from this movie, what scene would you pick and why? Oh. My gosh. You know what? Uh, one of my favorite moments in the film is the last one um, where they're singing uh, louder than words. And Carissa and Roger, our characters, after their, our last vocal line, we look at, at Andrew's character, Jonathan, because we know he has the next line. And we know that the uh, how much it took for him to write this song and what it means to him, and you know I'm so glad Alice and Lynn that you captured this because we look at him as our fearless leader, genius who holds the future of the art form in his hands, and that look means so much. I'm so glad that that they they left that in there. It's it's friends supporting their friend um, through a hard time, knowing that he's a, got a special gift to give to the world. I'm, I am stuck between two. Um, oh man, three, that's so hard. <laughs> either, or either come to your senses, um, therapy, and, and those two be, because of, of the way that Lynn took those numbers and, and digested them and then turned them into a very unique experience for the audience. Um, I feel like he he would be thrilled with seeing how that turned out. And also play game because Jonathan wanted to write musicals for the MTV generation and play game looks like a 90s um, music video. And I feel like he would have just been over, over the moon to see that like really come yeah. into fruition. Uh uh, I loved Andrew's performance in this. I felt like Jonathan had come back to life for the two hours that I was watching. And I am very curious what it was like for the two of you seeing what he was doing on set and just that energy that he was exhibiting. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. He was willing to dive into the unknown. You know, when you see an artist bring all their research and their entire instrument to something, but still leave so much room to to, to uh, be a vessel for Jonathan's spirit. You know, we saw him just like, I, I felt like he was just throwing colors on the wall early. And then all of a sudden there became a pattern mm -hmm. and then there was a character. And like you say, more mannerisms came in and, and every day he became John more and more. And then you turned around in the middle of filming, you're like, who are we talking to right now? Like, <laughs> this, this is Jonathan. Yeah, it literally got to the point where I think we were in a conversation and Andrew walked by and I was like, oh, John. 
<laughs> I just <laughs> called him John. I uh, did not mean to do that at all, but he just fully embodied him in, in every moment. And it was just so, so beautiful to, to have him there and to be a fan and to be a supporter as a human being, but also a character, you know, it just felt like we, we didn't even have to like act. We were just no. literally there to support and do what we love. On that note, I got to stop. Again, I just want to say congrats and thank you for giving me your time. And I really hope it's a huge hit. Thank you thank so you. much. Good to see you. Take care. Nice to see you. Later.